So in the last episode we found some piston in the bottom of the oil pan and we went ahead and started rebuilding this thing. We also found number six piston had the side load out of it and we found out the other piston was cracked also. So we went ahead and started rebuilding this engine, put a new timing chain in it, um, all the good stuff, everything you do when you rebuild an engine. Uh, we even put the pistons in in last episode. If you haven't checked that video out, make sure you go back and check it out. There's some tips and tricks in that video, and uh, we also even slung the head on. So make sure you go back and check out that video. So let's get into the video. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Cherokee Ronnie, and today we're going to finish part two of the in frame rebuild. I didn't document a whole lot because it's a whole lot of work when it comes to rebuilding an engine in a frame. I covered the basics and what you need to know, the rest of it's pretty self explanatory. Um, but one thing I want to mention before we get into the rest of the video, me kind of putting stuff on and then starting it up. One, to go over the cam sensor. Um, I did not know this. Um, I want to I want to warn you guys before you go and do this because I had a little bit of a challenge starting my Cherokee. And what I ended up doing was tearing the whole front end back off and checking the timing chain and making sure it was still in time and make sure it was on, you know, the, the right... Uh, stroke with the first piston and all that and it was and i couldn't get this thing to start because i'm used to working on older stuff that has a distributor if you have a newer jeep like i have it has like a cam sensor instead of a distributor well my timing chain was pretty loose honestly and i put the new timing chain in and what that does is you know it's tighter um it kind of offsets some stuff so i had it top dead center on the right stroke and it still wouldn't started crank and crank and crank wouldn't start it would choke it almost sounded like it was 180 out of time and here to come find out with some messing around you have to align your cam sensor um which i'll show you how to do that it's pretty self-explanatory um but i didn't know that i was two days trying to get this thing to run i aligned the cam sensor the thing fired right up so it's been a battle with this thing the engine rebuild kit that I bought had great reviews. Watched them on YouTube. I got the rebuild kit. It was missing half the stuff. I'll leave a link in the description below what company to go with to rebuild your Jeep with. Um, but let's go ahead and start working on the Jeep. Start putting this thing back together and getting her running. And I'll show you the process and the tips and tricks that I did to get it running. So I got this off Amazon. So we'll go ahead and put her in just slide it down in there and you should be ready to go so we went ahead got the water pump back on gonna go ahead and put the AC bracket on which is my alternator bracket So, basically got everything back together. I got the radiator sauce in it. Everything is good to go here. Only thing I don't have on is the intake box and the valve pan cover gasket yet. I just laid it on top so the oil wouldn't sling all over the place. We'll be putting that gasket on though. Just wanna make sure it'll fire up and run. Um, throw the battery in it and we'll start it up and see how she does. trying to start this thing cranking i run the battery dead as you could hear i got everything correct i don't understand what's going on i even tore the front end off i even tore the whole front of the motor back off to make sure it was in time on the right stroke top dead center all that good stuff but there's something i need to look at is aligning the cam sensor so let's go do that real quick so what you want to do is find top dead center on the compression stroke take your bracket off or you can just loosen it up and then take your little Allen wrench and the outside of this thing will move left to right. There's a hole on the outside and a hole on the inside. All you gotta do is line those two holes up. But like I said, make sure it is on top dead center on the compression stroke. As you can see here, 
that it should slide through. Flip this around. It should slide through to the inside of the hole. And then all you gotta do is tighten the bracket back down, put your cap on, and it should fire up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out. Like I said, a straight six motor is so easy to rebuild. There's no in-depth that you really have to go into. Honestly, the longest part is tearing the motor down, tearing all the stuff off, the bolts and all that stuff. That's the, the headache of it. And then putting it all back together. Um, it's basically pretty self-explanatory, but I hope it helped you out. I hope it gave you some tips, uh, help you on your rebuild. Um, so uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up at that subscribe button. I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty, my friends.